everyone, my name is Lori, my nickname is Verini, and I'd like to welcome you to Verini Bobini Creations. If this is the first time you've popped by to check out my channel, welcome. I do hope you like what you see, and if you do, please consider subscribing, hitting that thumbs up button, and sharing with your fellow crafters. If you've been to see me before and you're back, I am so grateful that you are. Again, if you haven't already done so, it would mean the world to me if you would hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and share with your fellow crafters. So for some reason this year, it seems to be all about lighting. It wasn't intentional, but today's project kind of follows along those lines. Um, so it's lighting and bug repellent. So we're gonna do citronella lanterns. And this is one of those pr projects, again, super inexpensive and easily tailored to whatever your decor style is. And I'm kind of going away from what my normal one is because I may gift this to someone. Um, so I'm using some colors that I don't generally incorporate, but I think that gives us all a chance to like broaden our horizons, sort of, I guess you could say, and kind of get outside our comfort zone in our box just to play with the colors. And so I hope you like it. And if you do this, please go to my Facebook page, which I will link in the description box, and post it on my, my page. I would love to see your take on this project. So let me stop yakking at you, and we will get started with the crafting. Okay, so for today's craft, uh, I wanted to make some outside throw pillows for my deck furniture and my outside furniture. So this fabric, it kind of reminded me of burlap. I kind of like it. Uh, the color will work for me. Um, it was from the Dollarama and I just paid $4, but I'm going to get three pillows out of one of these and I did buy two. So all I'm going to do is, of course, start by removing our tags. You guys you have to excuse the, the traffic noise today. Uh, where I am in Alberta, it's like plus 40. It is so hot. And I just cannot work in here without the window open. So I do apologize for all that noise, but I'm gonna cook if I don't keep my window open. Okay, so as I said, we're just gonna divide them into three equal sections. And I mean, they don't have to be perfect. They're not gonna be within a couple of centimeters. Now you can sew your seams when we get to that part, but I thought for today's, or I'm not going to, I'm simply gonna use hot glue, which will make things much easier. And then if you're not a sewer, you can still do these. So I'm just gonna cut them. So we've got those three equal, um, more or less sections. And then I'll just... Now I'm not going to stuff them right away because I'm going to do uh, a painting technique on here, stenciling actually. I sort of have a nautical vibe, I guess, um, on my deck and it's my deck is in black, white and red. And so I wanted to incorporate some of that into these. So you don't want to stuff it first, otherwise it's gonna make it really hard to do your to do your uh, stencil on there. Okay, and so because I have a Cricut, um, I just made myself some stencils. And I've done them in two ways, and actually it kind of happened by accident, but I think it's gonna look really cool, so I went with it. Um, so the starfish, pretty self-explanatory, right? We'll just put it in the center. Um, but I thought, because when I did this I wasn't particularly paying attention. Um, so when I cut the stencil out of this, of course it's not going to have the detail, but I thought it might be really cool to sort of do a cloudy paint around it and have that show through. So I'm going to try that. I think that will be kind of a cool look. So I'm going to use that. Um, I got shells, all kinds of different ones that I cut out with a nautical theme. Again, whatever your sort of style is, you do flowers, animals, you could just do a design, sayings, you could do so much. So they're super versatile, do them in whatever fabric you want and whatever picture suits your decor. And the really cool thing about these is we don't have to sew two pieces together. It's already done. So I'm going to go ahead and 
Now one of the things I did want to do, uh, I thought I would include some sort of rope in there. And again, I was, I was in a rush and I wasn't paying attention, but I can make this work. So the rope, I'm just going to send it right back in there when I do it, and then I'll still have my stencil. I was not, like I said, not paying attention. So I'm just going to kind of find center. And I think I'm just more or less going to eyeball it. I'm not going to be too fussy about it, but just kind of center-ish, I guess. And because, like I said, mine's in red, black, and white, I'm going to do sort of a very light um, sponge paint of sort of a darker, I guess you want to, I don't know what to call it, like a barn red, not like a vibrant red. And the rope I'm going to do in black, and that way I will get uh, sort of the themes, my color themes as well. So I am just going to take it down, just using some masking tape. flat there and okay so I've got my Tuscan red and my apple barrel uh, black and my two daubers so with the daubers I want to take off a lot of paint so I'm going to dip it in the red brush them off and then I just want to dab off quite a bit of it so that it's not wet. And then I'm just going to start by, and I don't want to go too crazy, I don't want it to be too dark. And I'm just simply going to dab. Same thing for the rope. So that's what you should be left with, something that looks like that. And I think this would be beautiful in a blue or a teal. Um, you can even do white. I think, well, I think they'd all just be beautiful, actually. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. Okay, and this one I was saying I was going to go around it and make it a bit cloudy, sort of around, if that makes sense. So I'll just show you this one just because now, because of the way I'm doing this, it's going to be a little bit hard to take down. So I'm just going to do my best to hold it steady. And I'm just going to go over it so the image is sort of in the middle of the color instead of the image being the color of that makes sense. You'll see here in a minute anyways. So I'm just going to go around it. Sort of a circle, just you know, a rough circle.
to start stuffing our pillows we are going to start by turning them inside out okay so it is inside out we are going to glue these ends together now as i said if you are a seamstress you have your sewing machine out by all means do that but because i'm just in a bit of a hurry i'm just going to do it this way and i'm just going to place some glue all the way along that seam press it down really well and I have made pillows this way before. I have not had problems with them coming apart. In fact, they usually, have, especially if they're outside, they usually get kind of, you know, filthy and you have to replace them every few years or so. And I have more trouble with that than I do with the glue letting go. So like, it's not usually a, a concern. I know this little corner isn't quite flat, but I'm going to turn it the other way before I finish that corner just to make sure I'm getting it sitting well. Oh, oh there we go. That's what I'm going to do it now. So yeah, we're gonna do the same thing, but like I said, we're gonna stuff it first and then we'll do the fold in, just like that, and do it. So I will get our, we'll get our stuffing here. So I'm just using regular stuffing. Now I've heard people that uh, sometimes are putting them outside, they'll use um, old plastic bags. I'm sure that would work too, but I have boatloads of stuffing, so we're gonna use the stuffing. And you just stuff it as full as you like. Alrighty, I think that should probably do it for this pillow. So now we're gonna go back and fold our, core, our edges in. Like that, and just work your way along, hot gluing them together. At the start of the corner here. So there's our first one all done. So I will do the other six uh, in exactly the same way. So uh, the one will do the stencil the right way, the other one will do the cloudy way like we did on that one. Glue our edges, get them stuffed, and I'll show you the final product when we get there. So here's our pillows all finished up. I really am pleased with the way they turned out. Um, if you've done your own take on them, please post them on my Facebook page and I would love to see them and I will leave that link below. Thanks so much for watching.